Jordan. Still on the subject of education, one Richmond voter points out that since 2007, the average cost of tuition and mandatory fees at public four-year college has gone up 71 percent here in Virginia. What is your plan to make college more affordable and does the governor have the ability to convince the General Assembly to increase state funding? Well, the governor has the ability to, to encourage the General Assembly. The governor also is able to appoint people to boards and commissions or, or college boards, so there's some influence there as well. But one of my pet peeves, and having Pam and I raised two children, one of them is with us tonight, is that when we work and pay taxes and raise our children in the Commonwealth of Virginia, we feel like they should have first dibs, if you will, at our colleges and universities. It's become very competitive because we in Richmond have underfunded higher education. So what do they do in response? They take students from other, other uh, states, and diversity is a good thing, don't get me wrong, but we need to fund our colleges and, and universities so that they don't have to do that, and we're not doing it. And just as you said, the funding from the state for schools like William & Mary, UVA, has actually gone down below 10 percent. We cannot continue on that trajectory, and what's happening, it's causing the tuition to rise, and again, it's a trajectory that we can continue.